Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know you're gonna definitely love this one. Watch Cam and Joanna, his student, go out and do some auto rotations, some takeoffs and landings. This is gonna be a fun one. Take a look. Albertsburg, Grand Cabri, G2, Golf Uniform, Echo Tango, Vid, Delta. Golf Uniform, Echo Tango, up, Chicago. Golf Uniform, Echo Tango, at BC Helicopter, Ground, requesting you to. Uniform Echo Tango, altimeter 3013, squawk 2453, contact tower 1194, one ready. 2453, Uniform Echo Tango. And it was 3013, they've just made a change. Oh. Cool. And we can change over to tower and get our GPS up and, up and running. Go on to the map. Perfect. Perfect, so it won't take long for our oil pressure to go into the green. It's already starting to, to flicker there. Okay. So you have control. We can do our pre-takeoff checks, get into the hover and our hover checks. And we're going to do a uh, southbound departure because of the wind. Okay. So, um, which way do you think we'll turn around today? Uh, Kilo Mike, Kilo is also on the Arnold departure, keep them in sight. And the wind is down. <laughs> yeah, once we get, because it's a little sheltered from the trees there. Okay, yeah. So we go south and then turn to the right? Yeah, but as in, uh, from our hover, how are we going to... Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, we'll use the right paddle. Yeah, so there's no obstacles next to us. Yeah. So when we, whenever we can, we'll do a power paddle turn. Okay, so you have control. Let's do our checks and okay. get to the hover. Friction is off. All the switches are fuel carbine and auto. Piece and piece are in green. And we got no fuel. RPMs in green. No warning lights. Okay. Indy Fox, Bravo, Tower identified over a greenhouse. Turn line 19, wind 2006, altimeter 3013. Cleared inbound on the greenhouse arrival. Work nice and steady. We're doing a hover check first. We never move our tail before we've checked. We're using 84%, and our gravity feels good. Okay, tail is clear on the left. Now we can go around. Dual Mike Alpha Tower, clear to me. Take off for my woman. Charlie Quebec Yankees identified. Climb 3000. Beautiful. So for this, before we call, our departure is going to be, obviously we have a clear uh, field, but then there's some tall obstacles. Yep. We might not get to the 45 knots before that, right? So what yep. we're going to do is climb over our spot and then start nosing forward, making sure we don't stop climbing the... Okay. okay. So you can call ready when there's a gap on the radio. Okay. disregard, you'll be number three calling us on the left now. Roger, number three, I'll look for traffic now and you'll leave a problem. Indian Mike Delta, you're number two following a Cessna on one mile final. Do you have them in tow? Move a little bit forward away from the hangar here. Indian Mike Delta, Roger. Turn base as soon as you can to follow that traffic. Avatar, Indian Mike Delta requesting a full stop on Highway 19. Indian Mike Delta, Roger. Turn base now and I check the full stop. Indian Mike Delta, turning base. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> just missed it. Victor Tango, Sierra Clear, to, uh, touch and go, runway 19. Abbotsford Tower, you from Echo Tango, ready for departure. In from Echo Tango, from BC Helicopter, to the infield take off and land at your discretion. In from Echo Tango. Okay, so staying over the spot we want to climb, watching our power, keep climbing, start gently nosing forward, but we want to keep that power up so we keep climbing. Nice work. Charlie runway 19, wind 1907, altimeter 3013, cleared inbound greenhouse arrival. Keep the nose up. Don't need speed yet, we need altitude. Okay. Alright, already start looking for our spot and you can start gently lowering collective because we don't need to go high. We want to start leveling off, there we go. Stay a bit wide of these buildings here and start looking at where we're going to land. Echelon Papa Tower, infield circuit is approved, take off land at your discretion and I check that there's two more cabries in the infield with you Traffic in sight, Echo Lima Baba. Yeah, outside, and keep it nice and steady as we're going down. Much better. So we had a little bit of left drift and we hit the left skid first. Yeah. And typically we have right skid first, so we know there was a lot of left cyclic there, so just gently holding right pressure to keep us from drifting left. Okay. 
it's much harder to, to notice that drift if we're looking down at all this grass moving around. So yeah. pick an object out in the distance that's not moving and then use your peripherals to judge that. Right. Let's do a few takeoff and landings here. Okay. That's it, keep going down, keep going down. Beautiful. Awesome, so you, you know you can do it. You're flying really well with the cyclic and pedals. There's a little bit, the wind sort of, it's light wind, but it keeps changing direction and it's a little bumpy. Yeah. Um, as you go down, we're, we're hovering nice and stable and you, you squeeze down the collective just to start a sink. Yeah. And as we get to about a foot off the ground, it'll, it could stop. So you need to lower it even more okay. to keep going down. But yeah. just keep us nice and straight and level with the cycling and pedals and just keep working your way down. As soon as you feel it touch, try and avoid that reaction of pulling us back up into the air. Yeah. I know it's hard. But, all right, let's do a couple yeah. more take off the landings here. Beautiful, that was really nice. Don't squeeze up, just keep going down. There was nothing wrong with that one. Okay. Remember eyes outside. Perfect. So there's nothing wrong with that at all. The concrete is, is very unforgiving, right? Any yeah. little bump and slide, it, it, uh, you notice it. Yeah, uh, But just keep flying it down. Okay, every um, time it does that, I'm like, okay, I'm going to lift it up again. Yeah, we know it doesn't land level, right? It's always going to hit one skid first, so yeah. it's never going to be just a, a, a smooth landing all, all surfaces at once. It's going to be right heel, and then it'll sort of go left heel and then come down. So, yeah, you know it's going to eventually touch like that. Just keep your eyes outside and keep flying it down, 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 and eventually you'll be on the ground. Okay. The worst thing you can do is be really quick with the collective because then we can bump really hard yeah. or jump back up into the air or something. So just nice and small movements. Okay. Let's do a few more. Go for it. Yeah, let's stay down three to five feet. Remembering the height we entered failure from the hover from. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, let's start departing out this way. Nice and slowly. Push forward through the flat back. That's it. Awesome. So remember, we want to try and level off at 600 feet, so there's no chance of us climbing through 700. Okay. So just about there, we can start on the hazel check. Height is good. Area is clear. Cabinet is secure. And engine is in green. I'm looking for traffic. All right. So with the traffic, I can see Galp over near the figure eight. And Goose down just on this side of that, tack, that uh, road in the middle. And we're going to go for that patch of grass just by the windsock where we just were. So we'll get back to cruise. Where is the green one? Uh, just on our side of that center spoke. Oh yeah, I see it now. Cool. Yeah, Alright, let's accelerate to cruise speed. Start turning in a little bit. So you're going to fire this one, you have control. I'm just going to operate the throttle. Okay. Uniform 
Okay, you can enter in. Three, two, one, enter. Nice job. Okay, what are we watching for? Air, uh, I mean, rotor, motor, airspeed, and train. Okay, so rotor's in the green, motor's still running, airspeed is good, just above 50. Train is good. Checking a little bit of collective there. That's it, gently pushing forward on the cyclic to get our speed. There it comes. Okay, everything's looking good. Eyes are outside. Yeah. And full flaring. Hold, 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 hold. Pushing level, pushing level. Nice job. So we hit yeah. our target. Yeah. You can see when there's no wind or light wind, the flare doesn't pull us to a complete stop and we would slide along the ground if it was a real auto rotation. Okay. Now I'm just going to reposition this here. Okay, you have control. Got control. Let's go for a landing. Nice work. So a little bit more right cyclic to stop that. It, it was hardly a drift, but you can feel it wanting to move to the left, so we just need to squeeze more right cyclic. Okay. Um, yeah, the auto rotation was really good. Um, the only thing was uh, we need to, once we're through the flare, eventually we're just going to sink through the flare, and we need to push level, all the way level, so that we're touching the ground in a real order rotation okay. with level skids and not tail low or anything. Yeah. Because the flare does its job, but eventually we're just going to sink down and we could hit our tail. Yeah. So when I'm saying push level, we need to go completely level. Okay. And if we still have speed, we still have speed, right? Yeah. So if there's strong wind, it's going to come to a complete stop. But if there's no wind, or if for whatever reason we have to do it in a downwind, we're going to push level and still have some, some speed and we have to be... Perfectly level and straight slide along whatever the, the surface is. Yeah. Right, let's see if we can get another one. Okay. Bridges off. Bridges are good. Carving is in auto. TCMPs are in green. RPM in green. The fuel and the water box. All right, guys. If you enjoyed that, which I'm sure you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this with a friend if you think that they would find this interesting. We're going to talk to you in the next video. See ya.